So guys, mechanical diagnostic for the OM648 engine. It had a failure on the highway and and it had like a knocking sound. Uh, got it in my place. First I see is a, something like blown gasket of the turbo oiling. There is a huge leak, as I saw on the diagnostic tool. It had only six liters of, of engine oil. And, and with the oil, it should be okay. Turbo seems to be not moving. The shaft is not moving much. Uh, it seems like it's new so 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 it it's not turbo the turbo didn't kill the engine and i took off the glow plugs of the engine which are in here in the near the intake of the engine uh, when you're taking off the uh, glow plugs you can test compression of the engine and we will test it and we'll see what compression it has in each cylinder and we'll see if it has a real problem in the engine and if it has we'll need to replace it because we have some spare engines in our place well these are the glow plugs of the engine uh, they took off very easy because it, as you can see, there is some ceramic thing on, on the plugs. So it took off quite easy. It's very good thing to, to do that because many guys are breaking the glow plugs by taking them off and you need the proper tools or the technician to, to, to take them out. So simply how to crank the engine and test compression without starting it. So as I said, uh, we took out the glow plugs and if you, your key is out of the lock and you have no ignition, your ECU doesn't give fuel to the injectors and you can simply test your engine compression just by starting the starter how to do that there is a pin in the fuse box and there's a violet one pink one and and simply just plug the simple wire and the other side it should be to the simple battery plus 12 volts and for this 211 t model you can simply contact you use contact right in here and the engine will crank but not start <laughs> So right here we are having a V6 engine, OM642 and the client wants a stage 2 tune uh, we already done that we have some adjustments we are doing some adjustments only so so we, we will need to to make it a little faster, less smoky well, this this car has a, 
uh, stage 2 turbo from the other guys which is not pretty much capable around 2 2 to 4 bars of boost it has our our, our map sensor and and it has a bigger intercooler which helps cooling air a lot the fuel system is stock and uh, it doesn't need any uh, adjustments because those piezo injectors are pretty much capable even this turbo can handle the full the stock full system this engine has so if you give it much fuel it smokes a lot so it needs some adjustments so we'll do a little more about that also client complained about cooling system because he filled it and and it doesn't cool so we'll try to make some adjustments and see how it goes it should be around 50, 350 horsepower so for for this car is a lot for the v6 engine it doesn't have flaps egr is blocked and and exhaust system is straight so the sound is really really good so we'll see how it will go on so right here we are having a v6 m642 it had a charger but it was smaller it had bigger boost lag and then we fitted our turbocharger it has piezo injectors so those injectors can give a lot a lot of fuel and this car is more responsive we are giving it 2.5 bars and feels really quick, really quick, it has a lot of power. So, uh, we coded the agility mode for, for the gearbox, 7G gearbox, and, and it feels gear shifting a lot faster than with the stock standard mode or comfort mode uh, so response is really good full boost it's at around 2.2 bars which is really early so right now I'm gonna stop a little bit and we'll test it how acceleration goes from 0 to 100 And it's pulling really hard. Let's push it a little bit more. We see no smoke. But damn, it's fast. Oh my god, it's really fast. Compared to the stock models, which you have to 20 horsepower, it feels like it has a little more than 350 horsepower. We need to do the dyno test and see how much it has power and of course torque. I had a lot of work with this car because we had earlier other turbocharger. We tested a lot of tunes. So sometimes it had a limp mode. You have to adjust exhaust back pressure. Uh, you have to adjust its limits. Finally, we've got rid of it and also adjusted some math, mass airflow sensor settings because it still has math in it. It has stock intake except intercooler and I think this, this is a really good tuned car and I hope my client will be happy with it. So here we have a three turbos. First two are our hybrids OM642 and OM648 CDI turbos. And the third one is a big one 
GTX 35 which are using most turbo engines and like petrol and diesel ones but it doesn't have a variable geometry which do those have and needs some like wastegate or something like that to control it so i'm thinking to build a compound setup with this turbo for my personal project and these two turbos are hybrid ones as i said but they're using not c30 mg shaft they're using better ones motorsport ones which has faster spooling full boost at about 2.2 rpms and they have a better gas flow less back pressure and shorter shaft there should be also the fourth turbo for om642 which are commonly used in e350 it has a water spooling and ball bearing but ball bearings are are quite expensive to do so not many clients uh, wants that it costs uh, much more compared to these first ones we are capable to do hybrid turbos about five six a week those two are clients turbos and om648 are going to the usa 642 are going to uk and right now are in the works om614 to the vacuum worm that goes to the austria turbos can be used even on stock full system on stock full system it's suggested to use about two bars 2.2 bars of boost and it's capable to max out stock full system on 648 engine and if you want more power those are capable to go to 2.7 bars of boost or 39 psi for daily use for daily use it's uh, really high pressure but those have a one year guarantee and i'm using myself it for about five years and still no issues with the with the turbos in the back we are making bigger exhausts as you see the the biggest issue on the turbos is the exhaust system which doesn't let you get a higher boost or or uh, makes pretty much high egt exhaust gas temperature as you can see those exhaust sides are bigger a lot bigger than than the stock ones but of course big turbo has a lot bigger exhaust side so you can order those in our place you can also ask us for for a discount we always calculate something and can give you better discount at our place also we calculate shipping and and we can send those uh, worldwide shipping with no problem so right here i'm having om614 engine diesel one which i will add it to my project car and right now it has stock turbo and it will be changed I'm thinking about uh, getting two stock turbos or two hybrids or maybe a compound set of with the Garrett GTX 3582R. I haven't decided this yet because I haven't decided about my project car, its purpose. So I think I will use it for time attack, for, for track and and uh, uh, of course you need a lot of horsepower there also you need the reliability you need many rpms in there to 
to compete with others so for for the high rpms i think it's the best solution using compound or two hybrid turbochargers and we'll see i bought this engine and not cheap but i've already tested it with my standalone ecu which we are making ones for om613 and for uh, om612 engines contact us to get more info about about ecus